Although they are durable, we can often find our dog doesn't like us touching their paws. Animal Wise brings you six reasons why dogs don't like their paws touch and show you how to manipulate them when you need to. It's a sensitive area. There are some areas on a dog's body which are particularly sensitive. This is because they have a larger concentration of nerve endings. A touch in these areas can generate an exaggerated response in their nervous system, a sensation similar to when we are tickled in sensitive places. It's for this reason dogs generally don't like to have their paws, tails or noses touched. It provokes a negative association. Although we may intend them to be positive, there are human displays of affection which are not assimilated in a positive way by the dog. Dogs are not used to kissing, hugging or shaking paws as displays of affection. They generally don't interact with each other's paws since it's not part of their common body language. For this reason, dogs generally don't like to receive affection in the same way as humans, meaning they don't like their paws being touched. Check out the first info video to find out more about why dogs don't like being hugged. They feel pain. We must be attentive to any other symptoms or behaviours which may accompany our dog rejecting us touching their paws. In some cases, our dog may show signs of pain due to itchiness, a wound or some other injury on their paw. If your dog has injured their paw, we should sanitise the area and take them to a veterinarian. This will allow diagnosis and administration of any necessary treatment. Associates it with a negative experience from the past. A dog may not like their paws to be touched because they associate it with some past trauma. When a dog experiences some sort of negative situation or even abuse, they can associate us trying to touch their paws with this traumatic event. In these cases, the dog's reaction may seem exaggerated and they may try to escape or even become aggressive. If you've just adopted them, it's important you do what you can to learn about their history by speaking to the shelter or previous guardian. If we see signs of phobias or behavioural problems, we should speak to an ethologist or dog behaviourist. Suffers from a disease. If you notice your dog's character has changed, such as by showing more aggression, becoming nervous or hyperactivity, you should go to a veterinarian immediately. Some diseases which cause pain or impair the senses can result in hypersensitivity or behavioural problems. They have parasites. It's important to remember that a dog's extremities are in constant contact with the ground when walking. This means they can come in contact with dirt, pathogens or sharp objects which can cause them harm. We also need to rule out the presence of ticks or other ectoparasites which can appear on their paws, even hiding in between their digits. Discover how to get rid of dog ticks with the video in the corner. How to touch a dog's paws when necessary. Even though your dog may not like to be touched on their paws or legs, there are times when we will need to manipulate them. For this reason, it's important we let them become accustomed to having their paws touched from an early age. We must do so while respecting their boundaries. With patience, dedication and the use of positive reinforcement, you can see your canine can gradually learn to accept their paws being touched. Discover other facts about the behaviour of dogs in the playlist we share here. Tell us if your dog doesn't like having their paws touched by sharing a comment below and we'll see you next time.